Hello, I'm Jennifer, junior editor at GoBankingRates.com. Today we're talking about the free application for federal student aid, also known as the FAFSA. The FAFSA is available to part-time and full-time students. The types of financial aid available through the FAFSA is a Pell Grant, State Grant, Perkins Loan, Stafford Loan, and the Federal Work Study Program. Financial aid is awarded on a first-come, first-served basis. Often states have their own priority deadline. For example, California's state deadline is on March 2nd. If you miss the state deadline, don't worry. The federal deadline isn't until June 30th, so you do still have time to submit your application. There are three options to submit the FAFSA. The first is to go to www.fafsa.ed.gov. From here, you can submit your application online. The second option is to also go to the website and download a PDF document. From there, you can submit the FAFSA by mailing in the form. The third option is to contact 1-800-4-FED-AID, that's 1-800-4-FED-AID, and request a traditional paper document. When completing the FAFSA online, make sure you're on the FAFSA website, not a third-party website. Third-party websites often charge a fee in order to complete the application on their site. Again, this application is a free application for federal student aid. Before filling out a FAFSA, you'll need to have a few documents on hand. The first is your Social Security card. If you don't have your Social Security card on hand, then make sure you've memorized the number by heart. Second is a driver's license if you have one. You'll also need your W-2 form and your most current federal income tax return. Also, any bank statements and investment records will be helpful when filling out the FAFSA. Filling out a FAFSA is pretty straightforward, but here are some questions that some students have. The FAFSA will ask you to list all assets to be used on educational expenses, equity on stocks, bonds, college savings accounts like a 529, businesses, farms, and a second home are all considered assets. What's not considered an asset is your primary home and retirement accounts like a 401k. Typically, yes. Work study earnings are taxable for federal and state taxes. However, if you work part-time and are enrolled in school full-time, you may be exempt from the FICA tax which is funds allocated to Social Security and to Medicare. Ideally, you shouldn't wait to file your FAFSA. Financial aid is awarded on a first-come, first-served basis, and there is an option when filling out the form to state that you have not filed your taxes but intend to file. By choosing this option, you'll be able to still submit your application on time by the priority deadline and get the maximum awards available to you. Then, once you have filed, you can go back into your FAFSA application and make the corrections. The government requires that you list your assets and your parents' assets when filling out the FAFSA form. In order to claim yourself as an independent and avoid listing your parents' assets on the form, you have to meet certain qualifications. You may file the FAFSA as an independent if you are 24 years old or older, an orphan, ward of the court, or were a ward of the court until 18 years old, if you are an emancipated minor, or an unaccompanied youth at risk for homelessness on or after July 1st of the current year, a veteran of the U.S. Armed Forces, a graduate student or professional student, are married, or have legal dependents like children, and if you have unusual circumstances as deemed by a financial aid administrator. If you don't meet any of these qualifications, you still need to provide your parents' financial information for the FAFSA, even if you don't live with them or have filed your own taxes. 
For more information on student loans, visit GoBankingRates.com. Thank you for watching and good luck on filling out your FAFSA.